What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video I'm going to show you a few different ways you can use scenes in Studio 1.6. So scenes have been around since I believe Studio 1.5. What it essentially does is allow you to create snapshots in the session that you can go back to at any point of time. Uh, this is great for organizing the session as well as comparing things which I'm going to show you in this video here today. Alright so this is a session that I have from Kay Penny and the way I've got this laid out uh, these first track down to here is my drums, got my bass, these are the instruments, and then all of these purple tracks towards the bottom are all vocals. So with these scenes, I'm going to break this up so I can quickly view uh, different things in this session. So to access scenes, you want to go into the mixer and go to this bottom left and this icon here that says show scenes. You want to click that. That's going to open up your scenes tab. And right now I've got all the tracks available and in view and we're just going to create a scene and I'm just going to call this everything. And this will be my, I would say starting point, but with this scene I'm now viewing everything, all the tracks in the session. And now if I want to view just the drums, I'm going to select, the, we're going to select everything but the drums and then we'll hide that come back into scenes, add scene, call this drums, and then let's bring everything back and let's do one for vocals. So we'll hide everything except the vocals, add scene, vocals. Okay, so now we double click everything that's going to bring back everything, and we got the whole session. If I want to view just the drums, there's that. If I want to view just the vocals, there's that. So quickly way that you can organize and jump around and view different parts of the session. If you want to view just the vocals, if you want to work on just that or just the drums. And for comparing, we'll go back to everything. For comparing on this uh, vocal, I have channel strip of my channel strip that I put together here from waves with a uh, sibilance Shep 73 R compressor and a real-time tune and I want to compare that to say the fat channel where I've got uh, the tube comp and passive EQ so we can create two different scenes for that so for this one we'll just call this waves and then we'll bypass the waves, add the fat channel, call that fat channel. So now, double click waves, now I'm on the waves, now I'm on the fat channel. Let's take a quick listen to that. We'll start with the uh, waves. I love it when you bring me in closer, pretending that nobody and then the fat channel. I love it when you bring me in closer. Pretending that nobody here knows us. All right, so as you can see, that is a very easy way where you can flip flop between uh, two different plugins. If you want to compare plugins, if you say hit something on the mix bus, you want to see which one of these bus compressor or bus EQs for example works better for you you can create scenes and quickly flip between the two uh, last thing I'll show you here is that clicking through these is a little annoying because you got to double click each one to go through them but we have a key command or a sh uh, keyboard shortcut if you search scenes uh, we can see that uh, option control right arrow and left arrow it's going to go to the next and previous scene uh, so just to show you that uh, control option arrow and we can easily switch between the scenes this is obviously quicker than double clicking but there is scenes in studio 1.6 a couple ways of how to use it uh, definitely comment and let me know if you use scenes and if you do how do you use them all right if you enjoyed this video i appreciate a thumbs up and if you want to continue to see content from me then you know what to do all right i'll catch y'all next time